first I shall do no harm is their Hippocratic Oath. A raid at Dr. Kurt Moran's office in Scranton from early 2018 explained 423 counts on charges of receiving kickbacks for unlawful prescription, two people dead. The Department of Justice and U.S. Attorney David Freed alleged Dr. Moran received roughly $140,000 between 2014 and 2017. The crime, prescribing a fentanyl-based painkiller used for cancer patients to those not qualified. Freed saying in a DOJ release, this defendant, an experienced and substantial dispenser of powerful pain medications, lined his own pockets to the detriment of his patients. He accepted bribes and kickbacks for prescribing medication narrowly approved to treat only cancer patients suffering breakthrough cancer pain. He then concealed and disguised the payments he received for prescribing that drug as compensation for providing educational presentations. Moran now potentially faces thousands in fines, suspension of his license, and life behind bars. Communities in Northeast Pennsylvania now coping with the fallout. Why do this? Why? What's the purpose? Stephanie Walnick reads over the Department of Justice release. A prevention education specialist with Wyoming Valley Drug and Alcohol oh, wow. Services, she's disgusted. Is there no th afterthought of this? Like, what do you think is going to happen? You, know, you think that, you know, they're going to live their lives as a productive human being if they're hooked on these, on opioids? Cases with the potential to discredit medical professionals like this, a major problem amid an ever-present epidemic. Doctors are seen as above reproach. And that's why we have such a problem with opioid addiction, because, oh, the doctor prescribed it for me. Moran is innocent until proven guilty, but if what's in black and white stands... And if this is true, this, this gentleman is, you know, he's off the market. That, that, is, that certainly is a relief because that's one less doctor prescribing fentanyl. Walnick says when it comes to these cases, there's an uphill battle ahead for those fighting addiction, those aiding in the fight, and some who never saw the fight coming. We all make mistakes, um, but some mistakes can cost people lives. With your digital exclusive, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News.